evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about resolving vectors. There are two videos on resolving vectors, one using mathematics and this one all about how to do it with a scale diagram. So for this video I'm going to be having, I've got a protractor and I'm going to need a ruler. So if you're going to be using for scale diagrams you must have a protractor and a ruler with you. But firstly I want to remind you about what a vector is. Now a vector is something with both a magnitude and a direction and we can represent this using an arrow. So this arrow can represent all sorts of things and it could represent my velocity. Now I know this is a velocity because not only is it five meters per second but it's also going this way. So vectors are really useful at being able to identify um, the magnitude, but also this arrow notation is good at also indicating the direction. If I was to change the arrowhead to go this way, I'd be going five meters per second that way. So how do we solve a problem? Now on the board, I have um, a box and I have hundred newtons going up I have 20 newtons going to the uh, left, and I have 40 newtons going this way. Well, this one's to my right to my left, going this way would be easier to say. So I've got 20 newtons going this way, 40 newtons going this way, but it's at an angle of 30 degrees. And I want to find out, after all of these forces have been applied to this box, what is my resultant force? What is my overall force? And what is the direction? So what you have to do is you have to draw a vector diagram. The first thing I'm going to do on this is I'm going to put a scale. I am going to say that, might be a bit much. I am going to say that five centimeters equals 10 newtons. Okay. So how you draw a vector diagram is you draw the vectors, but there are a couple of important rules to do. So first of all, I'm going to take this 100 newtons, which is going straight up. So 100 newtons, if five centimeters is 10 newtons, that means 50 centimeters would represent my diagram. So I'm gonna get my ruler here. And I'm gonna draw my 50 centimeter line to represent 100 newtons. So that's 50 centimeters. I then have this here, 20 newtons acting in this direction. And how you draw vector diagrams is you draw one vector, then the other, then the other. So I will draw my 20 newtons vector, I'll represent that vector by joining it onto the end of this. So, five centimeters is 10 uh, newtons, so 20 newtons is going to be 10 centimeters. So, oops. 20 newtons there. And as you can see, my tail of this vector is at the tip of this vector. Now lastly, I have this 40 newtons working at 30 degrees. And it's 30 degrees from the horizontal. How you do that is you go to the end of the, the, vector, the last vector you've done. And what you do with your protractor, is you measure, whoops, backwards, 30 degrees. Here. So that is 30 degrees. When I draw my next vector for my 40 newtons, I have to have and make sure that that crosses through this 30 degrees. So, 
40 newtons there, 5 centimetres is 10 newtons. That means 40 will be 20 centimetres. So I draw from here to 20. That's my 40 newtons there. And that's at 30 degrees. How you find the resultant, the overall um, force on this diagram is you literally join the tail here to the arrowhead here. And because this is a scale diagram, I can actually just measure it. I'm going to represent my resultant by a dashed line. So this here is my overall or my resultant force. I'm going to measure it and it is almost, it's 60 centimetres. That, 60 centimetres, so 5 centimetres is, um, 5 centimetres is 10 newtons, so this would be 120 newtons. I can then get a protractor and measure it. So I get my protractor, and I can see on my protractor, this is 10 degrees from the vertical or 80 degrees from the horizontal. So that there is 80 degrees, that there is 10 degrees. So the important part to take from a scale diagram of vectors is this. One, choose your scale. Two, make sure when you're drawing your vectors, that you're drawing one, and then you join another one on, and then you join another one on. When you draw an angle, make sure at the tip of the one that you're going to join it to, you draw that angle you need to draw. So this was 30 degrees up, so I made sure it's 30 degrees up. Make sure your line crosses through that. Your resultant vector will be from here to here and you can literally just measure it because this is a scale diagram. And I have got 120 newtons, and I've got 10 degrees from the vertical or 80 degrees from the horizontal there. In the next video, I'm gonna take the same diagram and I'm going to do this using, <coughs> we're going to be able to looking at this here and we're going to find the resultant using mathematics.